guys, Matt and Mike from Iron Trap Garage uh, doing a video on a new... Another system. new project. <laughs> Another new project. Uh, so, uh, we got this thing maybe, I don't know, what, a month ago? Yeah, roughly July-ish. It was sometime in the summer. Um, Matt called me when I was at home. I was off of work. It was a weekday. He asked me if I would be willing to go pick up a free Model T body. So, of course, being a good friend I am, I happily said yes. Drove about 30 minutes to go get it. Uh, the kid was throwing away the body, he put it up, Matt found it on Facebook. Yeah, it was on one of the, there's all these different, like, niche groups. So there's, like, a Model A and T parts group, one of the, like, hundred of them that I follow. And generally it's overpriced shit. But uh, this was free shit. So this guy put this up, and, of course, we had ideas of grandeur that, we scored this crazy killer deal. Before I even picked it up, he was sending me photos of modified Model T's <laughs> dreaming already, and I didn't even have it in my possession yet. Yeah, so um, Mike got it, and it's pretty rough. I mean, you said it was breaking apart when you were putting it in Yeah, so the guy helped me carry it, and it still had like wooden sub rails. I don't know if they're original or not, but they were terrible shape. Uh, it, had, it's a, it was a full fender car at one point, so that we have the stock fenders. Uh, but they're just literally a giant sheet of fiberglass laid on top of rusty metal and you can peel the fiberglass off of the metal. It's, this thing is 100% a pure basket case. <laughs> so we got it and uh, I just kind of threw it in my storage not knowing what I was going to do with it. I threw away some of the stuff that was really bad that uh, Mike was made to take and uh, started kind of looking at it and figuring out what was usable. So. The cowl is, is definitely usable. Um, this side panel here, so it started off as a three-door touring, um, and which means it's a four-door, or a four, a two-seater car, seating four people or more, and uh, it had three doors. So there was uh, two passenger doors, and then there was a rear driver's door, and this side is all one panel. Um, so the doors are okay, they're usable. Uh, the rear seating section is actually surprisingly pretty decent yeah. uh, for what it was. So what we decided to do is take the center section out, which is junk, it was 90% fiberglass. <laughs> we can slide the rear section forward and basically try and use the rear doors with the front cow section and kind of make a little T modified roadster thing. I don't know, I've been looking at lots of photos of old Dry Lakes cars, and then also some of the uh, just the 40s, late 40s, real early 50s modified street roadsters out of tees, I think are kind of neat. So that's the idea. Uh, the whole plan for this project is we, we, we kind of started calling it the free tee. So it's the Ford free tee. And uh, we're going to try and build this thing for as close to $0 as possible. So try and make it as close to free as we can. Um, of course, doing it completely free without spending any money is near impossible. Um, but what, so what we're going to try and do is, is the typical wheeling and dealing. So if we go somewhere to buy a piece for this car, I'm going to try and buy three parts, sell two of them, which will pay for the part we wanted, and we're back to zero. So right now we have, what, just fuel costs. And I'm not even going to factor that in because we'll never be able to keep track of that. Yeah. At the end of every video uh, for this project, we're going to keep a running tally of what we spent and then you know where we're at with the project and we're hoping to be uh, as close to zero dollars as humanly possible <laughs> which it's it's going to be interesting to try and wheel and deal our way to basically a, a free hot rod yeah so i'm, I'm worried about the, the maintenance parts when we start putting the, the engine together and the suspension. engine's the biggest the biggest thing yeah so um the frame so we already you know kind of this all kind of transpired just for me looking around all the parts i have um this frame, you guys might remember, I got the frame for free uh, from my buddy, and we used the center X section for the Sweetheart Roadster. I couldn't bear to throw the frame rails away because they were decent. Typical Matt. And I uh, started staring at it, and actually they're pretty perfect for what we need. So I cut it just behind the front cross member and just behind, just in front of the rear cross member. Uh, it's like a 41 Ford frame, and it's actually pretty perfect. It's got a real big step naturally in the rear of the frame. Um, it's a strong frame, especially for a T. So I think this is a perfect uh, basis for our frame. So we already got a good start to it. 
Uh, so we're going to stack some parts together, kind of play Legos here and see what stuff's going to look like. Um, and then we can start laying out our measurements for the wheelbase and everything like that. And uh, yeah, then we're, we're kind of just show you guys sort of what it's going to look like. size of the doors. Uh, we're using the rear doors in like a suicide door fashion. We're keeping the hinges in the back side and then we're folding the, uh, the door forward, uh, opening it you know, the other way. So what we needed to do um, is use both rear doors because they're actually were slightly larger than the original front doors on the Touring. So we cut this piece off that was the side on the driver's side um, and I left just enough material so that we can actually hammer and fold the edge over to create the door jam like this side has. It was about an inch and a quarter. So I cut I cut with extra room because we're going to trim it down once we get the car a little more like a car. And uh, we're going to fold that in and we can put some water metal inside of that to make the actual uh, jam. The other thing we need to do is we need to save these latches that are right here, uh, or the catch rather. Uh, we need to catch, save these and then they're going to flip flop. So this hinge uh, uh, this latch catch is from the other side and it's going to go in the front here and then you know, I got I had it sitting next to the dumpster the other seat so I gotta, I gotta pull that piece Mike reminded me before we uh, 
throw it away. So yeah, originally the front door, well the passenger door on this was a standard open door, and then the two rear doors were suicide doors, quote unquote. So we're kind of flip-flopping things around to make it a double suicide door. It looks a little bit cooler and just gives it that old hot rod look. Yeah, people will kind of... And we didn't have to do anything. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest part is it's, it kind of works as is. We don't have to like reinvent the hinges or anything like that. It'll be kind of neat to have opening doors on these because most guys uh, weld them shut. So it'll be kind of neat to just have doors that actually open and function and latch. Even though it'll be low enough that you can literally just step in and out of it basically. You can. I can, tall. yeah. I'm Freakishly tall. <laughs> so we got that done. Uh, we got the cowpiece on. We actually took the windshield uh, frame apart. So I broke the top half off and uh, we used just the bottom half of the glass here. And it actually kind of works. I saw some old photos of uh, tees from back in the day and that seems to be what a lot of guys did for a quote unquote chopped look. Um, I think we're going to pie cut the uh, brackets and get the, the windshield to lay back a little bit so it looks fast, if you will, fast. Um, so yeah, so we're good there. Uh, I think the next big thing is uh, figuring out how we're going to brace the body up, get some wood or some metal and actually make a frame so that we can, just like we did the Sweetheart Roaster, we've got to somehow make it so that it's a body again, it's one piece, even if it's still rough, make it one piece. Uh, so we'll have to get all that done. Uh, the other nice thing is there's some mounts on the back side of the, the body right here, uh, or on the chassis, they line up with a really good spot on the body, and I think once we channel the, the back part of the body down a little bit, um, that'll be a great spot that's already on the frame that's gonna make a, a body mount, so that'll kinda take care of that. Um, the frame is swept up so high in the back, I don't think we're going to really have to do any cutting of the frame or else we can just make it work with what it is. Um, yeah, so... Well, Matt got to sit in it, make noises, act like he was driving it. Yeah, I think, I think this thing's actually going to be pretty spacious since we're using the back seat. It sits a lot deeper. That's um, one thing we're really worried about is the front seat just kind of narrow. The car definitely has a, a pretty large taper from front yeah. to back, so definitely be spacious enough for two people. And it's real deep, so you can, my tall self could possibly drive it. Uh, he'll, he'll drive it. And we can maybe take Moon, too. Yeah. Take two guys and, and Moon in it. Yeah. We so we're going to get this thing uh, braced up next time, and uh, I'm going to start figuring out some cross members for this. Uh, like I said, we're trying to spend like close to zero dollars. so. Whereas other projects I might have used an original front and rear cross member, this I might actually just make some cross members. Uh, I have a T cross member sitting in right now just for kind of like space, to, to take up the space and see where it's at, but it might be just as simple to just make tubing cross members, uh, make a flat one in the front, and just go with that. Uh, so we'll see what we turn up. Hershey's coming up really soon. Uh, so that, you never know what I'm gonna find. We might find a uh, you know, cross members for a dollar a piece or something stupid that you know, needs a little bit of work. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see. Or uh, donate parts. Yeah, donate parts. They always use free parts. Yes. So give, give you guys a something, I don't know, a piece of rusty free tea in return. Um, but yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys would like to see. If there's any cars that you like that are old historic uh, tea roadsters or tea buckets, yeah, you know, definitely drop uh, drop me a link. I'd like to see it because I'm looking for inspiration. So that's all I got, guys. Uh, thanks for following along. We're doing videos every Friday, and we may start putting some out on Tuesdays as well if uh, we get enough stuff rolling at once. So thanks, guys. Catch you later.